going to learn about our atmosphere. What is atmosphere? Okay. The 13th lesson, atmosphere. Ape by Golia. So in this lesson we are going to learn about uh, what are the layers in the atmosphere, what are the names of these layers and what are the gases in the atmosphere and so on. Okay. Think about this part. When you look at the sky, what can you see in the afternoon? If it is a sunny day, you can see the blue sky. Yes, the blue sky you can see and sometimes you can see clouds also. Think about the night time. When the night time, when you see the sky, what can you see? You can see the thousands of stars and also there are planets and sometimes there is the moon. So all these objects you can see through the atmosphere. Through the atmosphere we can see the clouds, blue sky and stars. We can see these things, all the things through the atmosphere. But we cannot see the atmosphere. Okay. This is our earth. So we are in the earth surface. We are here in the earth on the earth surface. Okay, this is our atmosphere. So atmosphere is a thin layer of gases. There are gases in our atmosphere. Okay. So this atmosphere spreads from 700 kilometers from earth surface. So this is earth surface. We are here from the earth surface. It spreads from 700 kilometers to 700 kilometers. It has spread. So the weight of the gases about make the pressure. So we are here. We are on the earth surface. So above us and above everything, about these things, there are gases. So we are here, above us, there are gases. So you know, when you were in grade 6, you have learned that gases have a mass. Gases have a weight. So the weight of the gases above us make a pressure. So above us, there are gases. So, the, these gases have a weight. So, this weight make a pressure. So, we call this pressure as atmospheric pressure. We call this pressure as atmospheric pressure. So, what is the unit? We measured in millibars. We measured, we measure this atmospheric pressure in millibars. That means unit of atmospheric pressure Millibar, simple MP, atmospheric pressure in singular by volume PM. Attitude. What is the meaning of attitude? Attitude means height of a certain place from the sea level. So this is the sea level. From the sea level, what is the height of the places? These places. So think about this place. What is the height from the sea level? That is altitude of this place. And think about this place. What is the height from the sea level to this place? That is the altitude of this place. Okay. According to the altitude, according to the altitude, so place to place, this altitude changes. According to the altitude, pressure and temperature change in different levels in the atmosphere. So, according to the altitude, you can see the altitude is different from place to place. Altitude is different. That means, 
the pressure and temperature change in different level in the atmosphere. So based on these changes, atmosphere is divided into layer. There are five layers. So atmosphere is divided into these layers according to the pressure and temperature difference. So these are the these are the five layers. From the uh, earth surface, first one is troposphere, second one stratosphere, third one mesosphere, fourth one thermosphere and the last one is exosphere. So you have to remember the names of these five layers. What are the five layers? Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. First layer is troposphere. Okay, now we are going to learn about these layers. So what are the important points we should learn in this layer? First one is troposphere. First layer is troposphere, this layer. So that is the lowest layer. Yes, that is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. This is our atmosphere. So this is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. So what is the height? Height of this layer. It is about 8 kilometers to 15 kilometers. 8 to 15. That means this is our earth. This is the earth. This is our earth. Okay. This is. This one is the equator. Equator means summer Near the equator, the height of this layer is 15 kilometers from the sea level. From the sea level, it is 15 kilometers near to the equator. So in this place, from this place, near to the equator, it is 15 kilometers. But from the polar, near to the polar region, it is 8 kilometers. Near to the polar, it is 8 kilometers. So we can say the height is 8 to 15 kilometers. Then nearly 75 percentage of the air in the atmosphere is in the troposphere. Nearly 75 percentages of the air. That means there are more gases in the troposphere. Then we can see water vapor and dust particles in this layer. There are water vapor and dust particles. And we can see all weather changes are take place in this layer. All the weather changes. That means uh, precipitation like rainfall, snowfall, the temperature changes. All the weather changes are take place in the lowest layer in the troposphere. Then we can see the helicopters, parachutes and aeroplanes in this layer. That means these helicopters, parachutes and aeroplanes travel through this layer. Okay, understood? Second layer is stratosphere. This is stratosphere. So what is the height of this layer? It is about 15 to 50 kilometers from the sea level. From the sea level, it is 15 to 15 to 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers from the sea level. Okay. Air is dry. So, in this layer, in this stratosphere, the air is dry. There are a few amount of water vapor we can see in this layer. Few amount of water vapor. So, air is dry. So, we cannot see storms or turbulences. We cannot see storms and turbulences. What is the meaning of turbulences? Calamity. We cannot see the turbulences in this layer. So, calm layer where jets fly through this layer. Jets fly through this layer because 
there is no tones and turbulence. Previously, we have discussed that all the weather changes are take place in first layer in the troposphere. So, in the stratosphere, there is no storms and uh, turbulence. The jet can fly through the layer. Then, have you heard about ozone layer? Ozone layer is placed in this stratosphere. Ozone layer is in this stratosphere. So, this is a special layer. Because uh, this layer prevents the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. So, it protects our earth from the ultraviolet rays. The ozone layer. Then, uh, cumulonimbus. Have you heard about cumulonimbus clouds? So, uh, the clouds cumulonimbus closer to the stratosphere. So, clouds are in the troposphere. So, the cumulonimbus clouds closer to the uh, stratosphere takes an anvil shape. What's anvil shape? Green line. This is anvil shape. So, the cumulonimbus clouds Closer to the stratosphere gets an anvil shape like this. Okay. This is anvil shape. What is the reason of this shape? The reason is wind blowing from one direction. In, in here wind blowing from one direction. So cumulonimbus clouds gets an anvil shape. So, after forming this cumulonimbus cloud, we can expect rain with thundering and lightning. Third layer of the atmosphere is mesosphere. This is mesosphere. So this layer spreads up from 50 to 80 kilometers. 50 to 80 kilometers from the sea level. So this is fourth layer among the other five layers. Mesosphere is the coldest layer. So here water vapor gets frozen. Water vapor, there are water vapor. So this water vapor gets frozen into ice clouds. Here we can see the ice clouds. Water vapor gets frozen into ice clouds. Then when the sun sets, the rays fall on these clouds and you can see these clouds during the Nine times.
fourth layer of our atmosphere is thermosphere. So this is thermosphere, fourth layer. So it spreads a 80 to 120 kilometers from the sea level. 80 to 120 kilometers from the sea level. So here the temperature is very high. In the thermosphere, temperature is very high. What is the reason? There are air particles in this layer. So these air particles absorb the sun's rays. Absorb the sun's rays. So temperature is very high. Uh, do you know about International Space Station? International Space Station is situated in the thermosphere. And have you heard about these special sceneries? Aurora Boreals and Aurora Australis. So these two special sceneries are happen in this layer. So these are beautiful, very beautiful sceneries. Um, the Aurora Boreals we can see in the Northern Pole and Aurora Australis we can see in the Southern Pole. Fifth layer, that means the last layer is Exosphere. Exosphere. So this is the thinnest layer. Thinnest layer. And height is 120 kilometers above from the sea level. So from sea level to thermosphere it is 120. Uh, above 120 there is exosphere. And uh, we cannot find a certain border in between exosphere and the space. Beyond the 120 kilometers there is exosphere. So we have discussed about the five layers, about the information about these five layers and you should know what are the information and the names of these five layers. Then you have to do activity 13.2. Here you have to build up a model of the layers in atmosphere. Model of the layers. You can use the circles from A4 sheets and you can build up this type of model of layers in atmosphere. So you can make it. Try it at home.